Okay, welcome to River Rock Co-Housing. Um, right now we're facing the unit. The upstairs balcony on the left belongs to um, Unit 10. So, I'm just going to do a quick turnaround. I'm standing in the center courtyard right now. This is a 34 units condo complex. And then there's a large common house, which we all share. Has a lot of great amenities. Big kind of ballroom area for dining or entertaining. Um, big kitchen, which we put community meals on sometimes. Generally always something going on in there. Game room, an exercise room, a basement, um, guest rooms if you have more people than you have room for. And right between these two buildings, uh, Lee Martinez Park is down a little set of stairs. And Lee Martinez Park has basketball courts, um, tennis courts, baseball fields, and the Poudre River Trail runs right through Lee Martinez Park, which is a paved part of a paved trail network that runs all through Fort Collins. Um, for running, biking, walking, jogging, horse riding, and the city keeps it plowed in the winter, which is pretty nice. So we go up these stairs to get to the unit. And these units were built trying to maximize natural light and space. So these are skylights at the top and your front door. So you walk directly into the kitchen and to your left is the balcony which we were just looking at from the courtyard. There's a screen door, I just keep it propped open right now. So this is your balcony. The buildings were all built kind of facing in, fostering neighbor interaction. There's generally always some sort of potluck or picnic or a kids activity going on at some point during each day out here. So this is your front balcony. And over on this end of the complex, there's a reserved parking spot for this unit. And there's also another parking lot on the other end of the complex. So we go back in. To the kitchen, I'll take you on a little kitchen tour. Single basin sink, and this window looks out onto the same courtyard that we were just looking at. Dishwasher, gas stove, refrigerator. The kitchen has the vaulted ceilings and the um, recessed lighting, and then also the skylight. This place is really bright. It's, it's quite a plant lover's place because you basically don't have to turn on the light until the sun is all the way down. <laughs> so this tile is fairly new. I put that in when I moved in about three years ago. And then the wood is Brazilian cherry, hardwood floors. Um, the kitchen and the living room are connected. So I'm just gonna do a little turnaround so you can see it's all one open deal. Sorry if it's a little bit jumpy or you're getting motion sick. And then we'll head out to the back patio. Which is Macy's favorite place to stay, right baby? Um, the back patio looks out. Right now I'm pointing the camera directly towards Old Town Fort Collins. Old Town Square is about a five block walk that way. Um, you've got, of course, the view of your neighbor's backyard. Some of these units do have backyards. Mine does not. And then these raised plots that you see are community garden beds. And everyone that lives here is welcome to claim a garden bed and work it and get to know your neighbors in the garden. And then you can probably see these um, sort of remnants of railroad tracks. The city's actually in the process of pulling these up right now. They're dead tracks. Um, so trains don't run right here. They do run right down um, Mason Street in Old Town though, which is, like I said, is pretty close. So you will hear them, but you'll get used to them. So head back in. In this downstairs bedroom has window that faces out onto the patio that we were just on, and then another that faces onto that back um, towards the garden and the street. And this bedroom has these amazing vaulted ceilings and the ceiling fan, and then there's also this loft up at the very top here. Um, there is actually a ladder which I can put in. I just have a bunk bed here, so I haven't bothered with it right now. And then this closet is a walk-in closet. Just, just chock full of stuff, but it is a walk-in. Heading back out, your downstairs bathroom is a full bath. Not a whole lot to look at, but I'll let you see it with the handheld shower heads and the full bathroom. 
and then we had upstairs. So one thing to note about this place, hi Pepper, is that there is no door blocking off the upstairs. So depending on your living situation, it may not be the best place for, you know, somebody to move in and then find a roommate. It's a great place for couple, a great place for family, a great place if you know your roommate really well. <laughs> but you can't, blo <laughs> you can't block out town. Uh, so this is the upstairs. Um, there are two full, full-size double door closets, one of which is uh, full of stuff. The other one of which has full-size washer and dryer right there in your bedroom closet. So that's pretty handy. Um, this window right above where I have the bed looks back out onto the back where we were on that larger back porch and there's you can see there's still a dish for Dish Network if you desire to hook that up. And then this window looks out on the courtyard again. And you can kind of see behind that tree is sort of blocking the way, but that's the path you would take to get to Lee Martinez Park. And then in here is your bathroom, which is actually, <laughs> interestingly enough, one of my favorite places because of the skylight again. It's the brightest, airiest bathroom you will ever be in. Um, and again, it's got a little bit of storage space for linens or whatever. Another full, full bathtub shower with the handheld. And now you have seen it.